Hey guys, X Reflection here, and back again with my second Modern Warfare 2 commentary. Uh, today we are playing Demolition on Afghan. I decided to join up with some of my friends. You can see the blue arrows on the map. Um, and we're basically just trying to own it up. Uh, in this particular game, I planted the bomb probably like six or seven times. Uh, pretty much was the bomb put her down for person or whatever. Um, my loadout this round is Uzi with red dot sight. Um, then we got, see my second is a Spaz 12 with a grip. Got a throwing knife, some flash, and my perks are Marathon Pro, Stopping Power Pro, and Commando Pro. I have recently discovered how fun it is to use throwing knife, so you see me kind of try to get kills in situations where you don't really need to necessarily use the throwing knife, but it's pretty fun. Um, so yeah, just plant the bomb. B on Afghan is probably one of the hardest sites to, to plant. Or of, of the two, it's the hardest site to plant. It's really easy to defend because there's so many areas of camp, but then it's really hard to plant. And I, I get a couple bombs down in there. Oh man, I don't know what the hell that guy was doing. But uh, A is pretty easy, we actually take down A first, and then try to work on B. Just hoping that this this one uh, explodes, that doesn't get diffused. I think if I recall correctly, it gets diffused like last second. Yeah, I totally missed that guy. Oh man. But then I managed to get it down again, to help with my teammates over my ass and then I guess I look like a dead body because there's so many around the bomb site. But, uh, just run around trying to get kills. I'm not doing so good in terms of kill to death ratio, but I got a lot of points because I've been just putting down bomb after bomb after bomb. So, in Demolition, the key thing to remember is you gotta put pressure on the other team. If you're, if you're uh, attacking, you gotta put down bombs on both sides um, at the same time. You gotta put one down, and you gotta put one down right after that, because you gotta use that as a distraction. Because I think basically every map has one of the bomb sites is like almost impossible to get to if it's the only one left. So, you gotta really put the pressure on. Um, when you're defending, you just gotta hope for the best. I, I don't really know particular any, any strategies that you could use, but uh, kind of just got to split your team, work on, on a site that uh, has a bomb planted already, uh, try to get one of those uh, across the map knife kills. Didn't really work out. But yeah, when you're defending, it's pretty much just uh, try to cover both sites, keep them from putting down the, the bomb, don't let them put pressure on you, that kind of thing. It, it, and that really depends on what team you're with, whether the people who you're playing with know what they're doing, and in this particular case, at least two other members of my team know what they're doing because they're they're my friends. But it always helps to play with uh, non-randoms. So yeah, just running around, gonna go get that guy who just killed me. Not paying attention to what's going on around him. And trying to find, I think this entire match I was just trying to find somebody to kill with a throwing knife. It's good. I, I think I was working on my uh, Carney 3 challenge, which is the uh, throwing knife kills. Just trying too hard sometimes. There, I got one there. So, about the weapons, I'm even using, I guess this entire match I've been using the, I'm going to be using the Uzi. Um, I don't switch to my secondary at all, but uh, the Uzi is actually a really good gun. Um, it's pretty accurate. Uh, it has a really crappy range, but generally if you use it with a runner class, you can get in close and, and really get those kills, because it, it's got a really high rate of fire. It's pretty much just like a P90, except a little little weaker, I guess. Um, personally, I like the rapid fire attachment because you put more bullets down range, but I just, I'm just trying to get the holographic site, um, get that challenge done, get some experience, unlock that attachment, and never use it. But uh, red dot's not bad on it. It's a pretty accurate gun at a distance if you can burst fire it. But because it has such little range, it really 
you can't kill anybody without them being out in the open. It's pretty impossible. Uh, here I try to uh, defuse the bomb like a ninja, except not really like a ninja. It's pretty terrible. I assume I, at the time I assumed that because I was flashed, the other team was flashed, but then that wouldn't make any sense. But yeah, just moving along, trying to defuse this bomb. Up oh, there's another one. It feels so good to get knife throwing knife kills. I don't know why. It's just so simple. Even if it's like an easy throwing knife kill, it just feels so good. There's something about one hitting somebody that that's really fun. And I I've been trying to get some practice with it. Try to get get a little bit better at it. And uh, since I played this game, I've gotten pretty pretty good at it. I think. I think the uh, my favorite part of the match is coming up. Almost around there. That's where I get uh, three kills within like five seconds. And one of them is a uh, throwing nut kill. Uh, this is not, not quite yet. This is pretty fail. Right here, this is pretty fail. Yeah, that was bullshit. I totally had that guy. I think I hit him like in between his legs, like right before his crotch. Totally should have had that. And then my teammate gets the kill. Freaking final stand. Piss me off. Anyway, so just again running around, trying to trying to put pressure on them as a on defense, um, so that they kind of don't get a chance to plant. Just running around trying to wreak havoc in their their ranks, flank them and whatever. And that is what I'm about to do right here. Wait for him to bring me to his friends, and then throwing knife. And two kills. I was pretty happy about that. That was pretty cool. Because one was a throwing knife kill. But, yeah. It's hiding in the grass. Hiding in the grass. Hiding in the grass. Hoping that somebody will come by. Give me some more kills. Get my kill streak. I think my kill streak loadout was a uh, Harrier emergency airdrop. A chopper gunner, I think. But I don't, I don't quite remember. Didn't really get a chance to uh, use them that much. A little bit of lag there. Man, I really hate matchmaking. Matchmaking does not belong on PC. They really shouldn't have taken away dedicated servers. It really just kind of ruins the experience sometimes. Makes it not really a PC game. But what can you do? What can you do? Just got to hope that they... Uh, implement support for dedicated servers later on. So they seem to have gotten the bomb down here. Um, well, I guess my teammate got that one. Here I steal a care package. It's got a UAV in it. About 40 seconds left in the round. We win this one, we win the match, or the game, or whatever you want to call it. Um, this is where they sort of start putting a lot of pressure on us, trying to get get in. You can see in the uh, caves, you got three guys, and you got another two guys uh, coming around the other uh, valley pathway or whatever. And uh, fortunately, they did not manage to get in. Oh, got my Harrier there. Put it in like the most retarded spot ever. I don't know why I put it there because there's nobody there. I guess I just wanted to make sure that nobody was planting. But we win that one and then we win the game. Which is good. But that just about wraps up the second commentary. It's kind of short and uh, not too informative, but uh, I'm going to try to try this uh, laid back way of doing it and see how that works. Anyways, uh, remember guys, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed the commentary. I'll be posting up some more.